It's actually a rather nice design, I like it, and the clip just like physically clips onto the thing. It's got a power button there, and uh, you just pull this off, oh, there you go, you can insert it right up the clacker, and it's got two AAAs there. Do we just, what does it say? It just says pull out, does it? Pull out, yep, there we go, oh, 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 uh, <laughs> Houston, we have a battery leak. For once, it's not Duracells. Um, yeah, Energizer has uh, gone the way of du the Duracell, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, sorry, Hal, it has been sitting here for a while. Uh, oh, wow. Wow, liquid. Look. Wow. That's not, that's not crystallined. That's actually oozed out as a... I probably shouldn't put this on my fingers, should I? Um, that's actually oozed out as a liquid. Ah. Oh. Wow! Anyone? I've never actually... Oh, th there it is. Oh, I've got to clean up my bench now. I've never seen a battery leak in its liquid for... I don't think I have seen it as a, a leak in a li liquid form like that. It's only when it uh, crystallizes have I seen it. Let me smell that. There's no smell to it. Oh, but that's... Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you've seen a, a, like, a liquid battery leak like that. Usually it, it, you know, I've only ever seen it at the end state when it's crystalline. I mean, uh, you know, the 12, 20, 31, these are new, but what the, what the heck? It's definitely come out of the negative terminal there, which is, of course, where the uh, seal is. But wow, that's interesting, is it not? And has it worn away some of the, uh, like, that metalized, um, uh, color on there. I'm not not entirely sure, but wow, that's interesting. There you go. Is that the intermediate form before it crystallizes? <laughs> so, yeah, that's got to be the potassium hydroxide that's leaked out of that. Um, and it's just, yeah, I, has it just started? Did we just catch, catch it when it had just started coming out? But it's like, it hasn't come out a little bit. It's like, it was oozed out all inside. Oh, no, have we I've got some crystallization on there, maybe, and down in there, perhaps. Um, I'm not sure, but, geez, yeah, uh, that's, wow, that's a first. So, yeah, if you ever uh, discover it like this in its liquid form, uh, get straight in there and clean it up straight away. Uh, use uh, vinegar. Um, some people use, like, lemon juice or something like that. It just uh, neutralizes the uh, acid in it so it doesn't attack the metal contacts and everything down in there so yeah um i just i don't actually have any vinegar here i have to go down to the shop and get some and then clean it up but oh but, but for now isopropyl will uh, at least you know cleaned up for the tear down so yeah please leave it in the comments down below if you've actually uh encountered uh, a battery leak like this, and what brand were they? They're usually Duracell or Infamous uh, for it. And let us know if you've caught it in the um, the liquid, the potassium hydroxide liquid state like this before it's had time to crystallize. If you've got any idea how long it actually takes to uh, crystallize, then please let us know. But, uh, you know, there's probably, maybe, because there's like a reasonable seal on the, oh, it's not really a seal, but it's kind of got some rubber baby buggy bumpers on the outside. So maybe because it was sealed, uh, you know, if it's sealed reasonably well, maybe it takes uh, longer to, you know, for the oxygen to get in there and um, and crystallize the stuff. I don't know. If you've got any uh, chemistry experience, please let us know.